According to an article published by Life.ru on September 10, 2023, Yuro UVZ, has commenced the testing phase of the Sturm unmanned combat robot. This robot is constructed using the chassis of the T-72B3 tank and is intended for deployment on the Ukrainian frontline. The development of this unmanned tank project by UVZ began before the Ukrainian conflict started, but recent developments seem to have accelerated its progress. The testing program involves live-fire exercises against various target scenarios, with a particular focus on testing the robot's primary weapon, which is a 125mm gun with a shortened barrel. The Stern project was commissioned by the Russian Ministry of Defense and incorporates automation technologies from the T-14 Armada tank, which was initially planned to have an unmanned version. However, a decision was made to base the new robotic tank on the older but cost-effective T-72B3 platform. The T-72B3 is an upgraded version of the T-72B tank currently in service with the Russian Army. It features a 125mm 2A46M-5 smoothbore gun with a light alloy thermal sleeve and bore evacuator. This guided weapon system allows both the gunner and commander to launch laser-guided missiles, including the 9M119 at 11 Sver or 9M119M Reflex, with a maximum range of 5,000 meters, suitable for both day and night operations. The Sturm unmanned tank project, based on the T-72 platform, includes four distinct combat vehicle types. The first variant is equipped with a 125mm gun with a shortened barrel, while the second variant is designed to carry missiles or a rocket-propelled infantry flamethrower with a thermobaric Schmel M warhead. The third iteration involves transforming the Terminator fire support vehicle into a robotic version with two 30mm guns. Unlike the traditional Terminator, the robotic fire support vehicle will deploy thermobaric missiles instead of anti-tank missiles. At the Army 2023 Forum, UVZ unveiled a T-72-based variant of the Terminator Tank Support Vehicle BMPT, suggesting the possibility of upgrading decommissioned T-72 tanks into combat-ready vehicles with capabilities nearly matching the BMPT. The fourth Sturm project envisions an unmanned vehicle operating alongside the TOS-1A thermobaric rocket launcher system. Russian military expert Yuri Nutov pointed out that the introduction of T-72 based drones could offer significant advantages to the Russian armed forces. Unmanned tanks can advance under enemy fire, ensuring the safety of their crew, who remain outside the vehicle. Nutov also mentioned that the Stern project includes plans for four types of robots, which may be subject to adjustments after testing. These robots were tested with two large-caliber machine guns and artificial intelligence systems. The decision to use the T-72B3 platform is influenced by its relatively modern armor and the latest generation of dynamic protection systems currently deployed in Ukraine. These systems can greatly enhance the combat capabilities of unmanned tanks. Furthermore, the deployment of robots on the front line could lead to a re-evaluation of tactics involving tanks and heavy armored vehicles, especially in response to significant tank offensives. Nutov suggested that, despite the large number of armored vehicles, anti-tank guided missiles have proven highly effective in neutralizing them during the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. As Nutov pointed out, to optimize combat effectiveness, armored vehicles must be strategically deployed, such as in a tank carousel configuration comprising three vehicles, which appears more promising than deploying a large number of units. 